Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Thank you for taking this time to share it with us, me and my good friends. My name is Miss Noble, and I work for a really cool organization named Stories of Atlantic City. How many of you like stories? I do. You guys like stories? You like stories? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so at my work, I get to listen to people's stories, and I get to collect those stories of all the wonderful workers and people who live in Atlantic City. I have a few of my friends with me today that I'd like to introduce you to. This right here is Mrs. Young. Some of you may know her because she's a teacher in Atlantic City at Sovereign Avenue School. This is her daughter, Ava. She's acting a little shy today. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another good friend with me today who just so happens to be my goddaughter. And her name is what? Ava. Ava, too. We have two Avas. So they're gonna be our little assistants today. Um, so right now we're gonna let them go off to the side because we're gonna start our presentation. Give me one moment. Okay. Here we go. My apologies. <laughs> now you can see us. Um, unfortunately, our little assistants for the day have gone off camera, <laughs> but they'll be back a little later. So we wanted to talk to you a bit today about storytelling. Um, my friend here, Ms. Young, is going to give you a little lesson on one of the elements of storytelling, and that is the setting of a story. So I'm gonna pass this on to her and we'll get started. Hi friends, how are you? Um, it's Miss Young. Um, I'm so excited to share, I get to share with you guys um, the elements of stories. Um, there's different parts of the story. Um, there is the plot, there is the setting, there is um, the resolution. There's different components of a story, but one of the focuses that we're gonna focus on today is the setting. Does anyone know the meaning of the word setting? Okay, well, I'm going to give you guys some examples. Um, in a story, um, the setting could be it's a sunny day at the beach, or it could be it's a, maybe it's a dark, a dark stormy um, night. Um, so the, the setting is a place, a time, or an environment within a story. So the place could be anywhere. It could be the beach, it could be someone's home, it can be the forest, it can be a lot of different places in a story. Now, time is another component of the setting. The time could be, it could be the afternoon, it could be at night, it could be in 1995. So the time could be all different types of things. Another thing is environment. Is it spooky? Is it dark? Is it raining? Is it, you know, it's different things that you can use to describe the setting. Um, another important part of the setting is using adjectives. Does anyone know what that means? An adjective is using descriptive words. So if you're trying to describe a setting, you can say all of those big words. Like you can say it's dark, it is, it is spooky, like I said. You can also say things like it is, the setting was high in a mountain, it was underground, it was underwater. Um, the setting um, can affect different parts of the story too. You can say um, the setting caused or the place of, or the place in the story can make the character feel sad. Maybe they were in at a birthday party and something happened at the party or, you know, different things can cause um, the setting to affect a character or this actual story. And the setting can also change within the book. So um, they, they may have started at their home, they're packing to go on a trip, maybe they got on an airplane. Maybe they went to visit their grandmother, or maybe they went to climb a mountain. So the setting of the story can change. Um, also, characters can react to the setting also. So maybe something happened and the setting changed and it caused the character to be sad. Maybe someone was planning them a birthday party and they got excited. So they came to the birthday party and they got excited. So the setting of the story is very, very important. Um, the setting just sets the tone of the story. Um, the setting also makes the story very, very exciting. Um, so today we're gonna talk about the setting in um, some more detail. 
but I'm going to show you guys some pictures and I want you guys to guess where we're, where the story is taking place that we're going to read today. So take a look at some pictures and put your thinking caps on and let's see if you can figure out the story setting. All right, we have our first picture there. What does that look like? This okay. should look familiar to a lot of you because most of you live nearby it. Looks relaxing. It does, right? I think I would feel very calm if I was there right now. In that setting. Let's try another one. How does that I, setting make you feel? I like that place. I, I want to go there right now. <laughs> that makes me feel fun, like we're going to have a good time. Exactly. I think I'd feel really happy there. Excited, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little adventurous. Mm. Let's see another one. Oh, we're back at that place again. Yeah. I'd like to dip my toes in the sand right now. I think you guys are getting the hint, right? I think so too. Ooh. I like this picture. I like this too. <laughs> There's so many people there. It looks like how our setting <laughs> looks like most summers, right? We see some of those casinos in the background. And also I wanted to point out, Ms. Noble, that um, I forgot this point. When you're talking about a setting and good readers do this in stories, they use um, clues within a text or within a story. They use the illustration. So boys and girls, I want you guys to look at this illustration and look at this picture. What can you tell us about? If you didn't know the setting, pictures give us clues. So look at the picture and what clues do you see? You even you might figure out what this place is because you see things that you know because you're using the clues from the picture. Exactly. So if I'm looking at it, some of the clues that I see is we have some water, right? I see a lot of people there, so it must be a fun place to go. Um, I see some buildings in the back that kind of look like casinos, right? Mm -hmm. Things that we see every day. Some tents, it looks like there may be some sort of festival going on. So let's see what our next picture is. Um, oh, I think we all know what we're looking at now, huh? I think so too. And if you, if you use the, the clues in the picture, you and you know what some of the words are, you can read them and say that says Atlantic City. Absolutely. So we are looking at pictures of Atlantic City. I see a sign in the back that says Fun Times Ahead. And that is somewhat of a looking forward for our presentation today. We have some fun times ahead. So if you guessed Atlantic City or the beach, you are absolutely correct. So, as we know, that is our setting in real life, right? Many of us live right next to the beach or in Atlantic City or around Atlantic City. So that's the setting for our lives. And that's also going to be the setting for our book today. Not necessarily in Atlantic City, but the beach. So today, we are going to be reading Pete the Cat. How many of you know Pete the Cat? I love Pete the Cat. I love Pete the Cat, too. He's one of my favorite characters, which is also another element of storytelling characters characters are the people or the animals that are in the book which the book is about so today it's going to be about pete the cat and pete the cat is going to the beach so we will be reading pete the cat pete at the beach and i have that right here with me i'm hoping that you all will read along with me i'm going to stop the share so you can see me a little better today we'll be reading pete the cat pete at the beach by james jean so let's follow along. Put on your listening ears, sit crisscross applesauce, and let's jump into this book. It is a hot day. Pete the cat goes to the beach with his mom and his brother, Bob. Let's go in the water, Bob says. Eh, maybe later, says Pete. So we can see he's in the car, he's driving with his mom and his brother. I see something in the background that gives me a clue as to where they're going, right? Kind of looks like the picture, the, um, picture excuse me, that we looked at of Atlantic City. We see sand, we see water in the background, a few palm trees, and I see something cool sitting on the top of that car. Do we know what that is? Ooh. I see people doing this in Atlantic City sometimes. Looks like they're going to go surfing. Bob likes to surf. He rides the big waves. It looks fun. I'm hot, says Pete. 
go in the water, says Mom. Eh, maybe later, says Pete. So now we're looking, we see Pete's brother Bob in the water, right? He's surfing like we thought he would. We see his mom and we see Pete. I wonder why Pete's not in the water. What do you think? I guess we'll find out, right? Pete makes a sand castle. His mom helps him dig. Here comes a big wave. And there goes Pete. What is Pete doing? He's that wave coming. Can we see this? Does Pete look like he's going towards the water or away from the water? Away from the water, right? And why do we think that? Let's see. Well, we know his brother asked him to get in the water once and he said, uh, maybe later, right? Then his mom suggested that he get in the water because it's hot and he said, eh, maybe later. But now we see him running from the water. Why do we think? That's the case. Maybe he's scared. We'll find out. Oh no. Where did his sandcastle go? Bob rides a big wave. Wow, says Pete. That looks like fun. So now unfortunately, Pete the cat's sandcastle got washed out by the wave, right? I'm sure that wasn't the best feeling. Have you ever made the same cast so much as that? I did. It's a lot of fun. It is. It's also a lot of work sometimes. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and now we see him looking at his brother on the surfboard, and he looks a little more interested, right? He's thinking to himself, wow, wow that looks fun. Do you think he's going to get in the water? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, when he makes a prediction, uh, I think he might get in the water. It's fun in the water. Let's see. I always have a good time in the water. Pete and his mom take a walk. They find seashells. <laughs> they see a crab. Have been, any of you seen crabs on the beach before? I have. I always think they're so funny because they walk to the side. I've never <laughs> seen a crab. No? no. Hmm. Little funny creatures. <laughs> Pete's feet get wet. His feet feel cool. The rest of him is hot. <laughs> so what is Pete realizing here? He's been out in the sun all day, right? And he's been mm -hmm. saying throughout the book so far, I'm so hot, it's so hot. But now that he got a little wet, he realizes the water will help to keep him cool. So now what are you thinking? Are you thinking he's gonna get in? I think he may take a chance and try it. It is time for lunch. Pete eats a sandwich and he drinks lemonade. The sun is very hot, and Pete is very, very hot. Bob is wet and cool. It's been pretty hot around here lately, hasn't it? Hasn't it? I know I've been pretty hot going outside. And right about now, I'm sure Pete thinks that water looks really good. That his brother is cool, right? Why is his brother cool and Pete hot? What do you think? I think it's because Bob got in the water and Pete didn't. Mm -hmm. Let's play ball, says Pete. No thanks, says Bob. I want to surf. Pete throws a ball and his mom catches it. So now Pete is trying to do something else and Bob is saying, no, I want to get back in the water and surf. So Pete decides to play with his mom. But I don't know, I think Pete is starting to consider getting in that water now. Let's get our feet wet, says Mom. Well, okay, says Pete. The water is cool. It feels good. Pete goes in deeper. So now Pete is finally taking a chance and going in that water. Can you see? So he goes out with his mom and then he decides to go a little deeper. Bob waves to Pete. I want to show you how to surf, he yells. Pete does not say maybe later. He says, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He's taking a chance. He's going to trust his brother to teach him how to surf. 
looks like he's getting a little more comfortable being in the water too, right? Maybe he's not such a scaredy cat <laughs> after all. <laughs> you like that, right? <laughs> All right, lie on the board, says Bob. Pete lies on the board. Paddle, says Bob. Pete paddles out. He waits for a big wave. Do you think he's going to be able to do it? What do you think? Yeah? I don't think so. I don't know. I think he, he may try. He may have to try a few times before he gets it right. I don't know. Let's see. A big wave is coming. Stand up, says Bob. Pete stands up. Oh, he's getting ready. Let's see if he can do it. Then Pete falls down. It was scary, but it didn't hurt. Try again later, says Bob. Pete wants to try again now. So we, he didn't get it on his first time, which is absolutely okay. What matters is he got up and tried again, right? Mm -hmm. So before we saw Pete was pretty afraid to get in the water. And now he's looking forward to trying again on a surfboard. So let's see if he gets it this time. Pete lies down again. He paddles out and waits. Here comes a wave. Pete stands up, and this time he rides the wave. Good job, says Bob. So he got it on that second try. I think his big brother is pretty proud of him. What do you think? I think so. Pete wants to surf all day. Bob does too. So they take turns. It's another word for take turns. They share, right? Pete and Bob rock and roll with the waves. What a great day. It is okay to be afraid, but it is more fun to surf. So now I think he is a pro. What do you mm -hmm. think? <laughs> the end. How do we like that story, boys and girls? Thumbs up if you really liked it. Thumbs to the side if you thought it was okay. Thumbs down if you didn't really care for it. I hope you have both thumbs mm -hmm. up because I really like that. I like it too. <laughs> I like <laughs> the beat. Me too. I've never been surfing, so I would like to try and surf one day. But I do love the beat. And I'm glad Pete decided to try to go in the water, right? Sometimes we need to try new things in order to realize we really like it. So, just ask a few questions about the story. What was your favorite part of that story, Mrs. Young? My favorite part of the story was Pete surfing, because I've never been surfing, and it looked like it was a lot of fun. I agree. I would say that my favorite part is when they ate lunch, because I like to eat. <laughs> But I think it's when he, you know, got back on that surfboard, even though he didn't do such a great time the first time, um, the second time he tried it, he got it. And, and I like that because it just reminds us that we may not get everything the first time we try, mm -hmm. but if we keep trying, we'll be able to accomplish it. Accomplish it. So I really like that part. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what Ms. Young talked about earlier. Where did the story take place? What was the setting of this story? So let's look at some of those pictures again. Even on the cover, we see sand. We see a sand castle and a shuffle. We see water in the background. We see his brother riding a wave. So where are we? At the beach, right? Mm -hmm. Just like where you all live. That story took place at the beach. What were some other elements of the setting? Um, what time of day do you think it was? Did you go to the beach at nighttime? Was it the daytime? Let's look again at some of our pictures and find those context clues. So I'm going to look, you can see that. It looks pretty light outside, right? 
I don't see the moon. I don't see the stars. It looks pretty bright, right? All throughout the story. So I'm thinking it's daytime, right? Mm -hmm. So they are at the beach during the day. Can you go to the beach at night? You can. But I think it's funner in the daytime. Yeah, it's a lot safer in the daytime. It's a lot safer mm -hmm. in, the, in the daytime. Mm -hmm. And that's the best time to go swimming, of course, with a parent or guardian or lifeguard mm -hmm. with you. Um, and let's talk about one more thing. The season. What season do you think the setting took place in? Do you think it was winter? Let's think about those illustrations again in our mm -hmm. story. Did we see any dark clouds? Did we nope. see it snowing? Or is it summertime? Looks pretty bright. Was it hot? Was it cold? I remember in the stories he's saying a few times, I'm really, what, what was he? Hot, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Do you think it was summertime or wintertime? Summer, winter. I think it was summertime, right? Me too. The same season that we're in right now. So you did a wonderful job picking out those elements of the story and of the setting. Like I said, I would hope you really enjoyed that story. So now we're gonna bring our little assistants back in in a few moments and they're gonna help us. I'm gonna share my screen with you one more time. We're going to draw a picture of our setting, whether it's the setting that you're in now or the setting from the story. So I'm going to pull up a few images to give you ideas of what you can draw in your setting. So we have some water, we have the beach with the tree that looks pretty similar, mm -hmm. I would say, <laughs> to Pizza Cat setting, right? Even with the tree, same thing. I see a beach ball over there and a, a umbrella to protect you from the sun. I see a crab. Didn't we mention crabs in the story? We have another picture of a beach. I see a towel in this one. Someone made some, some footprints leading to the water. That was probably Pizza Cat walking mm -hmm. to the water. <laughs> we have a bucket or a pail. We have some seashells. How many of you have gone to the beach and collected seashells? I know I have. What about you, Mrs. Jones? I have too, and counted them. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. a lot of cool different seashells that you can pick up right on your beach. We have a picture of a family. This is a human family, of course. <laughs> but we know in our story, we had a family of cats, right? So you can draw you and your family at the beach. I see a sun here. That can be in your picture. That shows us that it's daytime and that it's hot. And I added this one in here as well because specific to our beach, we have the pier, which is like an amusement park, right? With rides and cotton candy and roller coasters and Ferris wheels. So if that's something you'd like to draw in your picture as well, feel free to do so. So now I'm going to call our little assistants back in. Ava Rose and Ava B. <laughs> I think they're, they'll be here in a few minutes. So mm -hmm. as they come, I'm going to shift our camera to their little drawing table. And they are going to draw a picture of the beach. So now's the time to grab your paper your colored pencils, your markers, your crayons, and let's get started on our picture. Let me make sure we have a good picture. Ava B and Ava Rose, can you wave to the camera? Say hi to all the boys and girls at home. They're gonna draw too, can you say hi? Hi. So they're gonna draw a picture right along with you. We read our story about the beach, right? So I'm gonna like the beach. Oh, I see some blue, what's that for? The that, ocean. The, the ocean. ocean. That's so wonderful. Do you want to think of the ocean beach? at the beach, right? Um, what do we see at the beach? Um, yeah, remember? You like to bring the sand castles. So what color should we use for the sand? What do you brown. Do you think brown? Okay. <laughs> you want to use brown? Uh, okay. 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 You want me to open it? I got it. So what are you going to add to your beach? Are you going to pick your own Can you draw the same? Are you going to make that pair with the rides, the roller coasters, the Ferris wheel? Um, yeah. We have okay. our Ava Rose right here drawing the ocean. I think I see some sand over there. Uh, that's sand, Ava B. Is that sand? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Awesome. What else do you want to have? I need an umbrella. Okay, so. 
Oh, water. What color should we use for the water? Well, Ava Rose Ooh. is going to draw it's us hot. an umbrella like we see in the pictures to protect us from the sun, right? Ooh. So we don't get too hot. Water. Right. I don't want water. Uh, look at this picture. What else can we add to it? Um, a, um, a crab. A crab. A crab. Oh, you want to draw a crab? Uh -huh. Okay, what color you want to use to draw the crab? Um, red. Oh, red. Oh, red. We agree on a color. Oh, okay. <laughs> what color? Do you want me to show you what it looks like from the story? Um, you know how to draw a crab all by yourself? Uh-huh. Okay. I'll go snap. Show your family. 
family and your friends and your loved ones. I would love to see them one day. In the meantime, I'll give you a little glimpse of what our neighbors are drawing. They're going to finish up their pictures shortly. Okay. While we do that, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your time with us. It's meant so much to us. Thank you, parents and guardians, for letting your children tune in and share their time with us today. Um, and just a little plug for you parents. <laughs> Stories of Atlantic City will be presenting tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Um, we'll be giving you a deeper look into what the Stories of Atlantic City project is and sharing ways in which you can get involved, as well as hearing from some community members that already are. So once again, that's tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. And we hope to see you then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.